So the importance of getting boots on the ground, um, I think, even though people often don't really like to scope out jobs anymore, it seems. So I had provided a map and distances from our solar array to the powerhouse and then to the house. And based on that information, we were told to get this um, 10 gauge wire to run between the solar array and the powerhouse. Now, when they came and actually babysat us and helped us hook everything up, they said, oh, your wire is too small because you have 40 amps of power coming from your solar array and this size wire will only support 30 amps. Um, so we had to go get new wire, larger gauge wire um, to replace this run from our panels over to the powerhouse. Uh, that annoys me a little bit. Yes, yes it does. But such is life. Um, that was expensive. <laughs> anyway, replacing that run is what we are doing today. So we're in the process of disconnecting these wires on both sides. And then we are going to um, tape that set of wires to the new set of wires. And we are going to tape the absolute heck out of it because it's going to be a giant pain in the neck if it comes apart when we're pulling it underground. We also rigged up out of scrap wood that we had this kind of um, spool system for the wire so it'll be really easy to feed it. Um, this is just scrap lumber we had lying around. This is actually for the most part parts of the pallets that our roofing material came on and because I don't throw anything away um, I had cut off the plywood, repurposed that in a different project, making lofts for our two attics in the extra bedrooms. Um, and then we had these kind of scrap support systems, which is great for building Frankenstein stuff like this. And then the rebar stick we had lying around, um, that goes across and then this spins pretty freely. So that once we get going, it'll be easy. But like I said, my big concern here is that if this end of the wire comes apart from the existing wire as it gets fed through the pipe, it's going to be really, really annoying. <laughs> and we won't be able to do it today. And that will be sad because we actually are able to turn on lights right now. And I will be so sad if we can't turn on lights after today. Wish us luck. So left to my own devices, I would have probably... Back the screws off again? <laughs> no. no. Strung this flex conduit straight through the wall and said, I don't need no stinking box. But the box is really handy because it made it a lot easier to pull the wires through. So... It would have been a nightmare. Yeah. So, um, there's a reason for the box. There's also a code or something about code that says so many bins uh, between a box or something. Mm. And it has to do with ease of pulling wire from what I understand. Well, that's, that's what I was told. That's a code that makes sense. Speaking from experience now. Well, if the government read it, it doesn't make sense. Okay, that's fine. Oh, you're going to trim it back to there, I see. Okay. Well, we'll see if this works. You want me to go over and pull? Yeah, do you want to start pulling until we get kind of fed through here, or you want me to go pull? It's up to you. It's hard to pull, so yeah. maybe you um, should pull. I'll, I'll pull. Okay. Try and keep this kind of coming up as straight as possible. Yeah into there yeah so Clara come come run the camera for mama okay pull 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 Lyrica <laughs> all right ready when you are <laughs> is he pulling he's pulling see it's 
Sees how that's working? Yeah. I can get your hands again, but they're pretty small. Over there. Okay. All right, you're looking at the end of the six gauge wire. It's a number eight ground because you can run a smaller gauge ground than whatever wire you're pulling. And we're gonna pull it at as basically through as far as we can so that we don't have to cut off two short chunks of wire. We can cut off one longer chunk of wire and maybe save it and use it for something else. Yeah, so, um, you know, pull me to about there, so three feet. Okay. So yeah, about where your hand's at this morning. Okay. Big fence cutters work good. Yeah, fence cutters are great tools. A little surprised it's not solid. Yeah, it's weird. Don't ask me. Was that a decent length I left you with? Yep, that's good. Better to have more than less in this situation. 100%. We gotta put that end on there, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get this 10 gauge stuff to fit first. Oh, look at that. We can probably make that work. Does it need the crimp? Yeah, it needs a crimp still. And this is because that will get threaded through, or the ground screw will get threaded through that hole. If you got a tool with a magnet, it'll make your life easier. So, we'll hook the, up inside to the, the DC main box, and then we'll come back and turn these on. Yep. This way we're not screwing with power, trying to be sent in there. Okay, do I have to tell them what's going on? Sure, what's, what's going on from Clara's perspective? We are, um, well, what are we doing? That's a fair question. <laughs> Probably doing electrical. My mom and me don't know, so. What? Uh, <laughs> see what happens? Yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Guys, no laughing! It's awesome! But no laughing, okay? Why not? It's fun. Because the people on the video won't like it. Oh, I think they'll love it. They'll think you're making fun of me. I'm not making fun of you. I think you're hilarious. Hey. No more talking in this room, okay? Sorry, you can hand that one to me. You can take that. Mm -hmm. He's, um, well... I can really explain, so we'll just see. So he's feeding the red power wire through into our DC main box. That's right. It'll be exciting. We get to actually put the cover back on. 
we shouldn't need to get in here for a while until we wire up the voltage meter. I'm just cleaning it up with some tape. Alright, give me that loom. Neat and tidy. Okay. All right. So the red wire from uh, our solar panels goes into this solar switch which then runs up into this controller. And then the controller wire looks like it comes down to the battery switch down below there. And then where's this black wire gonna go? This black wire goes in this block right here. Uh-huh. And I think it is gonna fit best in this one right here. Uh-huh. Because these are different size holes. Yep. This hole is bigger in this hole mm -hmm. as much as i would like to tie it in here in this one um it's going to be a pain in the butt to thread it in through here mm -hmm. uh this one's going to be pretty easy and it's probably going to fit this one best so i'm going to trim a little piece of insulation off just to give it a test fit mm -hmm. and then if i like the way it fits i will run my wire to length and put it in there this is also incoming from the solar. Yeah. What's the purpose of that bar? Do you know? This bar? Yeah. It's a negative bar. Negative bar. Okay. So all the negative, like the battery cable negative, goes to here, mm -hmm. which jumpers over into this, uh -huh. and it acts as the grounding system. Huh. Um, our actual ground wire here will go into the grounding bar here. Mm-hmm. If we ran it into here, we would need to install a grounding bar and then run a ground wire in here. Ah, okay. So. And then we've already wired that armored cable there to into our ground, ground bar. Yeah, our grounding rod that's pounded into the ground right outside. I wish I could, honey, but I don't think I have patches. I might have a couple denim patches in Grandma Fran's old sewing kit, but I'm not prepared to get into that today. Why? Because it's way up in the attic. Where's our thing of zip ties? Up here. Can I have um, a couple? Uh huh. Looks pretty fancy. What are you working on now? Oh, tightening that clamp. On to the ground. Moment of truth. Did we do a good job? That hum you hear is the sweet sound of an inverter working its magic, which uh, feeds power to the house. We're pretty excited because 
all of our wiring is working perfectly well. Um, we were kind of fortunate in that we had the template of the existing wiring to follow. So, you know, that took some of the guesswork out of it.